Hello, 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 and welcome back. So, uh, looks like Falcon's been stealing supplies. Uh, they're not gonna like it, but we're gonna revoke, because, uh... If I can save a little bit of money, whatever. Um, he does gain the trait Dishonest, though. Uh... Oh well, uh, we're we're actually changing plants because I really think the one skull assassinate is going to have a heavy mech in it, and I don't think three lights and a medium can take on at least one lance, probably with some mediums in it, and a uh, it's not guaranteed they have mediums. I guess I should point that out because I have done some one skull missions where there are not. Uh, and there's no guarantee that's going to be a heavy, but just on the off chance that would basically be my whole lance dead so we're going to travel to the quickest planet which is like a 14 day travel period uh, we're going to armor up my cicada here a little bit I think I have another ton well that is not a ton what oh that's right because I had I had two days there so we want to make sure the center We're going to pull that back a couple. We're going to pop that up a couple. I, I shouldn't be taking back shots really here, but that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do that. Uh, we're still a ton under. I want a case. Uh, case 2. So that uh, if my ammo goes, it's it's not like devastating to me. Unfortunately, the closest planet, because I just was looking around to figure out which one is close, is a... Uh, it's not a good deal. It's it's not a good deal at all. Um, it's like small population. I think newly colonized or something like that. Didn't it didn't look like a, something that was great, but I, I don't really have a lot of choice here. I just want to get there quickly, and then hopefully find enough missions where I can uh, really really keep myself going for a while. I was kind of wanting to scoot away from the front line, too, where hopefully I could just be doing some missions and get my rep up with uh, the Compelling Confederation. I, yeah, visit the store with my 64,000. I have less than I got done traveling with last time. All right, so let's go ahead and go contracts. Got 28 days. We need one really good one skull that's like a half million dollars that I can just uh, probably go like four clicks on the money. Um, so one click up from where you start at. Oh, really? That's not even enough to cover this month. Um, okay. So the missions, I think, are getting a little harder just because, again, it, it's saying my lance is better than what it is. Uh, whatever. We're here. I don't want to be helping this faction. We're going to go maximum money, and then we're going to jump again after this mission. We'll repair up during, uh, during the aftermath. Uh, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. I might just have to start trying some one skull mission or one and a half skull missions. I'm already running into mediums. I'd rather not. I, I just I'm just not seeing a whole lot of choice here. So apparently we're not really getting any salvage here. This is only half skull, so thankfully there shouldn't be too much that drops here that I want. I mean, there will be things that drop that I want. There's always things like the ultralight gyros. Uh, I, I'm trying not to sell basically everything I have, which might be in vain. Might be very much in vain. This will give me enough to uh, like 200,000, and then I can jump again right afterwards, which... Oh, man, I, I really kind of want to get my rep up with uh, the... the Compelling Confederation so that maybe I could start, you know, hold on to some stuff and then kind of sell in bulk later and get some more money out of things that I have. But, uh, yeah. I mean, want one hand and, uh, see what actually the game is doing for you in the other. It's giving you a big middle finger. Oh, 
All right, so let's uh, reserve back like normal in case they don't know I'm here. All right. Glitch. You're so fast. Ooh. PPC. Okay, so this is a regular panther. Honestly, I like the panthers a lot. I would probably keep the cicada I currently have over the panther, but that's a... Uh, that would be something... Let's let's see if I can't get... We can't get eyes at all. Ooh, we can. Okay, it's just showing me the, the line of uh, sight there. So what, what can we shoot at you? The heavy PPC? And then I'm basically overheating, so that's probably a big no. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and bring Gator up here. We're going to sprint him into the forest. Yeah, no real difference. The forest does make you... Ooh, what are the hit chances, though? 2%, don't care. Acknowledged. Right, we got eyes on another one, too. All right, we're really, really bouncing that torso up. I really wish I had something with some missiles. I am extremely thinking about maybe... I mean, I don't know what I could do for it. I, I do have the, the double heat sink uh, conversion kit. But... Essentially, I need like an ultralight gyro, or I need an XL engine, and then I want to get some machine guns on the javelin here. Uh, I'm ready. I mean, I, I just don't have the... The ability, unfortunately, we're going to be right up kind of with the cicada in the front lines where I absolutely do not want to be. And I think we don't take the shot with the heavy PPC this turn because 32, if I hit it, it's devastating, especially with that PPC. So it looks like uh, so far everything I see is lights. Is that That's a vehicle, okay. You know what, we're going to reserve back. You can go ahead and take your shots at my, my very accurate mechs here, or my very... Sixty-four percent because the panther hasn't moved. Now we will take the shot, and I'm close enough to get into melee at this point. Should a torso twisted so the vehicle doesn't maybe get a back shot on me? So even with the twenty-five percent damage reduction, you can see we just blow the panther up. Uh, the panther has no chance. And honestly, we want to really get in close with those very high hit chances still up. something like that. Now that does kind of open our back up to the vehicle, but it doesn't to the other mech, which I probably should have looked and saw what we had there. Okay, gyro crit, gyro crit. Honestly, that's that's not great. Uh, we do have unsteady, which didn't really seem to help. What do we got up here? Jenner... Okay, it's just the four medium laser Jenner. Um, bum, 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 bum. It's always about keeping that sprint up, and so that's about my maximum evasion. Go up here and try to. Ah, uh, okay. Ooh, we got a knockdown though. Can my cicada take it? My cicada might be able to take it, so we're going to expose the. Ooh, Irby. Irby over the horizon. Is it AC-20 or AC-10? AC-10. Alright. So, actually, that's that's not bad. Um, we might take a little fire here. I think we're out of the line of sight of the vehicle. The Jenner won't be able to, you know, completely cripple me. But we're going to try to take this Panther out right here. Okay, Panther down. Beautiful. Good stuff. Uh, you have very little movement done. You know what? 
Let's reserve back and see if they're going to... Oh, there's at least two lances here. As we see that I've killed one and there's still four things up. Miss, I, apparently. Uh, ooh, Saladin. Is that an AC-20 Saladin? It is, so high priority. That can be a lot of damage. It's just a lot of small hit chances. It's like a... Honestly, a machine gun that's better, uh, but very hot. It does look like the Jenner is attempting to flank here. Oh, you can't get eyes on it to... Uh... I'm hoping that's a back shot. It is. All right. Uh, still not great hit chances, but that's fine. Jenners have toilet paper for armor. So, yeah, this is this is more about how my Jenner was built right here with, honestly, less armor. I probably should have maybe pulled the SRM-4 off of it because it was running so hot anyways and armored that thing up. I uh, definitely should have with the Javelin. Twenty-two, twenty-eights. Can I can I back up at all and still get a shot on you? I cannot. So I think we just take the shot here. Unfortunately, we're a little little close range, and we're we're mixing the front and the back shots here. The question is, do I want to get eyes on the vehicle because I'm pretty sure the vindicator can go step on it? Uh, can the vindicator? It cannot. So I really need to step on something to cool some heat. That's the thing about going with that PPC. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to run just... Ooh, another salad. Another AC-20, but plus this time. Oh, actually, that's... That's honestly pretty fantastic. Alright, and we're still seeing four, four blips. Yeah, so... Uh, we're just going to sprint, and then we'll cool down this turn. Not a lot more I can do there. Now, I can push up and try to grab the scientist. Ooh. Oh, no. Well, I've armored up the cicada, so I'm definitely not as worried. The cicada is a medium mech, and while it did start with toilet paper for armor, it uh, is no longer quite the toilet paper for armor mech. So I think what we do is we come down, and I'm not going to have full evasion here, but I want those arc welders to, to take a shot. That is not what I wanted to happen. Okay. So that is the left arm, so I might be able to take the left arm off right here. You know what? We're, we're going to have guys coming over the horizon here. We're going to hope the Vindicator and the Cicada can take care of this problem. Speaking of, how's the Cicada looking? That's, that would be the worst area. If I'm just going to be brutally honest about it. So there looks like something with an SRM-10 over in this direction. Uh, might be like a Scorpion SRM-10 or uh, SRM-4 LRM-10. Something like that. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go for the kill here, or hopefully at least just ridiculously crippled. Did we get a knockdown? We did. Good stuff. So that doesn't get a move during the light, and my cicada gets called shots on it now. I'm receiving you. No, no, no. You you stay hidden behind the mountain. We do not want you going anywhere. Engine destroyed. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. I don't know. Maybe maybe this lance really is capable of taking on the mediums. If I was doing, like, single lances, because some of the mediums you can run into are extremely dangerous. If I knew I was not going to be doing, like, double lances, just single lances like I had last time. You know, I honestly might be like, well... Ooh. Is that a variable speed pulse laser? High evasion, and I got a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of 
block here with the uh, the rock so it's not clear line of sight so there's some negatives off that well that uh, that almost looks like an LRM 15 to me or Oh, I, so yeah, maybe this Lance really is stronger than what I'm giving it credit for. The thing is, when you start going against the bigger mechs, they take a lot longer to take down, and that means that I just continually increase the number of hits coming in at me, which means more and more get through, and with this many light mechs, it's only a matter of time before one of them just goes poop, and then it's dead. Can you, can you get eyeballs from here? You can. Okay, unsettled. It's not bad, but that's not exactly what we wanted. Uh, we're going to try to have the little ones, I think, take out the commando. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think we go for a... Hmm. Oh, that's that other Saladin over here. Um, well, that puts my back right to that Saladin. Yeah, we are not doing that crap. Hmm. I'm honestly thinking I bring my Vindicator up. We try to take out the Irby with my heavy PPC. Then I should be in range to step on the Salad in next turn. Ooh, such terrible hit chances. Okay, didn't take out the Urban Mech, unfortunately. I can see that. See that. You're terrible, you're bad, and you should feel bad. So honestly, we need to cool down at this point. Uh, if I just move there, what's what kind of e I have full evasion still? Okay, so we'll move there. This will let us cool way down. Hopefully the AC twenty doesn't hit. And then I don't think I'm gonna expose my javelin right here. Uh, I'll still take a shot, but I'm not gonna expose it to that AC twenty. That would be. That would be crazy. Ooh, do I go for a pushback since this thing doesn't have any evasion and maybe just try to smash it next turn? I do not. We just take the shot. Okay, hand destroyed. Eh, not, not really a lot. Oh, we did get a knockdown, so I got two lights that yet to go before this commando. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, looks like they do have a medium somewhere. It might be a vehicle, though. All right, so as much as we want to reserve right here, we are not going to reserve right here. I really don't want to be exposed to that AC-20. Yeah, we're, we're not we're not going to expose this guy because that's my this is my weak link right here. So I'm going to try to maybe take the engine out or something here. Ah. I would love... Well, I'm not really picking any items here. Patchwork is excellent, though. That would be negative half a ton. Ooh, the Saladin still comes up and gets the shot. Ooh, thankfully he misses. Uh, Vindicator, where are you at? Waiting for orders. Um, the Irby's actually pretty well armored. Just out of curiosity, if we come over here to the back... It's only two... Uh, but that leaves the commando open. I don't think we take the back shot on the Irby. I think we take the commando out. We got the called shot. Can we just move three? That way I keep my firing bonus a little bit better. Nope, I gotta do the... Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not the button I was hitting. Not sure why the camera went that direction, because I was definitely not telling it to go that direction. 
engine destroyed. So hey, okay, commando down. Uh, next next thing is that Saladin gotta go. Uh, we'll we'll let the Irby continue to do its thing. Uh, dagger. Okay, so dagger. Yeah, actually dangerous, but uh, definitely not. Oof, 60%. I just got a hit. That's all I got to do. 140 damage. Alright, so the other AC-20 down. Because I don't really have the money to be replacing whole parts on a mech here. You know, the, uh... The one and a half skulls might not be that bad since my lance is rated that, so maybe I'll just get like a single lance. We might just have to take a shot at it, because I'm not entirely sure other than it does look at my lance strength. Okay, it hit me with the small laser, but that's not a big deal. Uh, honestly, just taking out the urban mech, removing the uh, flanking shots, that's the uh, the better option here. Oh, well, that is not quite enough. Uh, that's still a bunch of evasion right there. I think we do it because we got two mechs that might be able to take this out. Uh, just some heat sinks, unfortunately. Alright, so the javelin's got to be able to take this. Yeah, that looks, that looks a lot more than like an LRM-10 to me. Uh, thankfully, this huge amount of indirect fire. You know what? I think we need the higher hit chances here. Because I want this dead. I don't want to have to come back here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Really? You're going to try to melee that Vindicator? Uh, oh, you got a bunch of uh, support weapons. Did we get narked? If so, that would be bad. Um, I live to serve. Boy, I think I just uh, sprint back here and try to get on the spine of that mountain because that's about the, the best shot I can get. I, I'm just so worried about them just looking at my cicada and it dying. Oh, you're so close to dead. Uh, PPC hitting at a 12% chance. If I just... That thing's got too much evasion. If I go for the melee, though, on the back, that opens me up to a back shot at 66, and that will cripple the dang thing if I can hit. Which I cannot. Plasma Lance, 50%, and that's 50 damage. Oh... Is always the the very fast little uh, dagger. Okay, single uh, machine gun hit, not bad. Uh, I think we pull the javelin, javelin around, and I think with three lasers, which is what I can fire, I think I should be able to take it. Really. Are you serious, game? I don't know what that 20 damage was in there. So LRM 20 and a vehicle flamer? Um, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. I'm going to reserve because I want to see what this dagger does. If it has less evasion, I'd really like to get a back shot at it and take it out. Another pilot injury, but we're going to be leaving space here very shortly. I'm going to keep digging for some easier missions, which I honestly, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how that's going to work out. I mean, I don't think I'm able to take the urban mech here because uh, I think we're just shooting the arm. If I take the AC-10 off, though. I did not take the AC-10 off. I hear ya. 
Okay, so what we do is far less evasive, but uh, even worse hit chance, though. It's still a 50% chance of just really stomping the locust, or whatever that is. So right arm, right torso, there's the haywire goodbye, and the tag. It's lost its evasion. Do I take out the more dangerous AC-10, or do I take out this thing since it has no evasion? I think the answer to that is simple. I take out the evasion bot. Here it comes. There we go. Uh, unfortunately, Gyro Ultra Light destroyed. That makes... That, that hurts me deep inside. Did that hit? Doesn't look like it. I'm trying to look at the card down here, but it's, uh, it's a little hard to see sometimes. Alright, Gator. Um, we're not going to sprint, and we are going to kind of open my back up here a little bit. Can I get the other medium squeezed in? I cannot. Okay, it's down the AC-10 now. So, I don't think it has... It has a small laser in the head, I think. Really? Where was the small laser? I'm pretty sure that goes in the head. Hmm. It could still melee for 15 damage, but uh, I'm, I'm honestly not really all that worried. Ooh, and we got right behind it. Oh, we actually hit the back a lot. Uh, Glitch, congratulations. You, you're not completely worthless today. I, I'm actually very stunned, uh, but very happy. We'll take a shot with the PPC. Whoa, no, we will not. No, we will not. Uh, I'm burning up, and there's no point in shutting down and, and letting them take uh, what is essentially really good free shots at me. So this thing is so beat up, even though it's not a back shot, we're going to go for it here. Took it out. Oh, man. I like Big Sly, man. I like a lot of his things. I also like Archangel. Uh, that was the other pilot I thought was pretty pretty neat to listen to. Because a lot of these pilots, I'm just like, um... Can I, can I not deal with you? It's honestly on the front, so it's probably not going to do a lot. But just in case we get a bunch of misses right here with the Venom. I don't think we will, but we should. Just in case, just in case. Easy enough. So, two lances. This is only half skull. Honestly, I'm above the half skull. I just think that the, uh, the one skulls are a little ridiculous. I'm still narked, huh? Uh, Cicada, I think you might actually be able to make it to the the second area here. Let's go ahead and do that. What can I, do for you? I don't know. The Vindicator still might make it there first. What do you need? So that yeah, that should be all the uh, the enemies here. I just need to make it to the. Two points, we pick somebody up, and then we go over here to pick up the the data or whatever the hell it is. It still looks like the Venom's going to beat you. That's okay. I, I, for, for a Cicada, I really... Whoops. I really do like that for a Cicada, and I'm not... I, I'm one of those people that think the Cicada's kind of garbage. So, ooh, you are going to be the one who gets there. Let's just reserve back, because I just got to get Big Sly in there. Commander. Waiting for the shot. Holding for tactical advantage. We have the secondary asset, Commander. Aye, aye. Booyah! Good stuff. Good stuff, though. So that'll give us enough to jump points again, because there's zero one-skull missions in this area. 
Unfortunately, this was another mission for the Free Worlds League, which I do not want to be helping. You can see we're now down to zero with the Capelling Confederation, I think. I mean, this is this is a solid group. Maybe I should just go for the one. We'll, we'll see what's going on here in the, the near future. I honestly would not mind one of those little daggers. I, I don't know if I could really kit it out like it is. But a, just a really support heavy, uh, very small mech. Again, I think that's like a 30 or 35 tonner. So again, that can't be a locust variant, even though it's got the LCT uh, abbreviation. Maybe it's designed after the locust or something like that. Uh, because the locust is just really a scout anti-troop type me uh, mech. This one seems to be more like a, a support based all right, so I mean Steiner's not stomping today. Five days and eleven thousand. Okay, that's not bad, and that puts us not too far out. So we're just gonna look at the navigation because I, I don't want to fix these right. Or we're gonna look at the contracts. Double check myself. Double check myself here. You didn't listen to me. Oops, no, no, Darius, no, absolutely not. You're an idiot, and I should need to throw you out the airlock. I don't want to ever talk to you. Okay, there actually is, okay, battle, battle, uh, defend base. Defend base I'm fine with. Uh, it's the assaulting bases where there's the turrets that just deep scan me just left and right. So, yeah, okay, this is, this is some, we can work with this. Again, the contracts always seem to be wonky when you first hit a planet. You almost have to go in, back up, and go back in. So, uh, three solid missions, one of them being with a lot, although that might kind of beat my mechs up a little bit uh, because there might be some medium. So we'll probably do these, these couple easy ones where I'll take very little damage out of them. Uh, I'll probably grab a piece of salvage because... Now I know that I'm not, like, having to jump and waste most of this month jumping somewhere and, like, fingers crossed there's a good contractor. we got to start selling things. Uh, there's one more thing I, I think I'll go ahead and mention right here, and that is I said earlier that we had gotten a... Really, we didn't have another Vindicator part. We just have the one, huh? Hmm. Okay. Never mind. Uh... I'll kind of talk about that later. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, let's go to the store and just see what we got in the store. I don't think there's really anything I can buy, but we're just, we're curious. We're curious here. Uh, if there's a whole bunch of Case 2s and they're, they're down around 100,000, I will buy one of those like crazy. Streak 4s, not bad at all. Definitely nothing I can afford. Yeah, Case 2, still way expensive. Can't afford it. Ooh, look at the Fusion Cores. Look at the fusion cores. Uh, here we've got a mask. Not something I'd really be using. Uh, but plus 40% sprinting distance, plus 15 walking. You do generate an extra 20% from uh, from weapons fire. And it weighs 50% of your one-tenth uh, chases to tonnage. So... Hmm... I already armored it up, and I kind of think the armor might be the way to go. But that would almost be a little interesting on the uh, the fire support cicada I have. Uh, just so I can walk a little farther after the the initial shots are fired, once I have the, the pilot to upgrade. Spall liner as well. Spall liner I will not be using because this does take the place of your Ferrous Fiber or your NSS or stealth systems that I have. Um... 75% resistance against critical hits is nothing to sneeze at. This is something I almost always put on a hunchback, though. It it does lose a lot of value because you think the ferrous fiber, you save a bunch of weight if you go with the ferrous fiber. Uh, but on top of that, you get negative 10% damage reduced and plus 15% weight change per point. So it actually costs you weight. And it's a little more expensive to repair. But on something that's very slow, like the hunchback, it has a hard time turning when I get them actually into the battle. They take a lot of back shots. They're they're just walking balls of steel, basically. 
and they're not very very agile or, or mobile so when I get them in there I just like to know that if they get through the armor there's not going to be a lot of crits I don't have to worry about my engines my weapon systems as much uh, negative 10% damage is still not bad and I don't think plus 15% uh, weight change per point is really all that bad the small liner in this playthrough I don't think I'll be using it, and I think the only thing I've used the small liner on again is the hunchbacks. I'm trying to think of which heavy I have. Uh, I do not remember. I kind of want to go see some of my other playthroughs. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and until next time.